Back in 2001, there was a team of staff from Create International and students from the School of Frontier Media who were sent by YWAM Perth to do a project for the Madaris. The Madaris are an unreached people group in Indonesia. There's about 7 million of them. They're staunchly Muslim. And actually, YWAM Perth has had a lot of involvement with the Madaris over the years. We've, um, they're in a, a group that we've adopted. We've had lots of short-term teams go there, and we've even had long-term presence. But even so, they've remained quite unreached. The project we were doing was to create a film that would share the gospel with the Madaris in their language and culture that could be used as an evangelistic tool. And it was quite a challenging project. It was hard going, it was hot, it was arduous. We had an amazing cast of people, but they were quite inexperienced. And so they actually were not used to being able to read their own language. Uh, they had to have each line translated from the Indonesian language to the Madaris language before they would say it. And then we would do that take then we would go on to the next line and our advisor and translator would help them and then we would do that one. And it just took hours and hours of time, scenes stretched from one day to the next to the next. But in the end we did finish it, but it literally took down to the last bit of light that we had on the last day to get the last shot before we had to leave and go on to our next location. You know, really when we do these films, we, we just don't know what the fruit of it's going to be. We, of course, we always have hope because we feel like God has led us and we're trusting that God will uh, use the projects to share the gospel and to help people uh, walk into relationship with their Creator, but we just don't know. But in this case, we had uh, a really amazing opportunity a few months after we had come back to hear this story that after we had left, most of our cast, who the majority of them were Muslims when we were filming, most of them had given their lives to Jesus. And that was partly through their experience working on the movie, and it was also through the ongoing witness and testimony of our advisor. This was an amazing man of God who was an anointed evangelist and had an incredible ministry in that area. And through him and through their work in the movie, these guys had actually become believers. And then just at the end of 2017, Calvin and Carol Conkey, who were the leaders of Create International, and Carol was the leader of that outreach team, they had a chance to meet that translator advisor guy again at a conference that they were attending. Of course, they were very excited to see him. And as they began to talk, he was pointing to these actors who were in this film and he was saying, you know what, these guys are really just the grandparents of the movement. And of course they were like, well, what are you talking about? What movement are you referring to? And he said, well, actually, through these guys' witness and testimony and through the ongoing use of the movie, there are actually now three generations of believers amongst the Madaris. He said, people are still wanting to see this movie. They're, they wanted to know where he could download it so that young people could watch it on their phones and share it that way. He said that before this movie, people didn't really have a concept that you could become a follower of Jesus and still retain your Madaris culture and identity. And that was something that we'd been really deliberate about doing the movie, about showing that actually following Jesus didn't mean having to kind of give up who you were as a Madaris person. And now he said that through this film, people really can understand that and they can see that. And that's been really significant um, for many of those people who have responded to the gospel. And really, when you're following God in missions, you're doing evangelism, you're doing outreach, you're doing projects, or you're sharing the gospel, so often you just don't know what the fruit of it is. You don't know what God is doing uh, around you. And you might even wonder, is it even really worth it? And this story really helps me to remember that it is worth it. That actually there's really nothing that God can't do, even in incredibly difficult circumstances. And that there is tremendous, beautiful, lasting fruit that can come uh, through our obedience.